Hi, my name is Jordan Grossman. I'm from Akron, Ohio. Hello, I'm Mark Hardy from Cleveland, Ohio, and today I'll be demonstrating the Asnus Jones Fracture System with new targeting guide. Okay, here we'll be demonstrating the incisional approach to the Jones Fracture. Uh, I believe the, uh, the easiest approach is to have the patient placed in a lateral decubitus position. Uh, this affords uh, the ability to, to place a bump under the heel and then you can actually put a little bit of leverage on the forefoot which will help to open up the fifth metatarsal cuboid joint. As you'll see later, uh, one of the, the critical points to execution of, of uh, screw insertion for a Jones fracture is being able to get your starting point high and inside on the proximal fifth metatarsal. You can utilize uh, serum fluoroscopy for landmarks in lining up your incisional approach uh, or just basic uh, physiolog physiologic anatomy here. So if we look at the fifth metatarsal base, we can, we can palpate the base, the head of the fifth metatarsal, and then we can use one of the wires from the set uh, as, a, as a rough guideline as to where the, the bisection of the fifth metatarsal will be in the sagittal plane. One mistake that I see people commonly make is uh, placing the incision too close to the fifth metatarsal cuboid joint. I recommend an incision about one and a half centimeters to two centimeters proximal to that insertion point of the perineus brevis tendon. You also have to be mindful of the location of the sural nerve and perineus brevis tendon during dissection. So now we've lined up the uh, the incision point about one and a half centimeters to two centimeters proximal to the fifth, met fifth metatarsal base. Controlled dissection, again being mindful of the perineus brevis tendon and the sural nerve. So after our controlled uh, depth incision, then we can take a uh, hemostat to bluntly dissect down to the level of the fifth metatarsal base. And then you can use the mosquito as an extension of your finger to feel where that uh, starting point will be. Again, utilizing a bump underneath the heel allows you to lever open the metatarsal cuboid joint, which makes your starting point with the guide wire a bit easier. So here we're, uh, we're opening up the fifth metatarsal cuboid joint. We utilize our uh, previously placed line along the long shaft of the metatarsal to use that as a rough guide for placement. One nice feature of the uh, Asnus Jones Fracture System is this parallel uh, positioning guide or drill guide. So there are three uh, slots on the drill guide, two and a half millimeters or 2.5 millimeters apart from one another. And that allows you to rotate the guide both in the sagittal and the transverse plane. So if your first wire is close, um, you can still utilize that wire and then rotate appropriately to push the wire medially, laterally, dorsally, or plantarly. So here we've obtained a lateral after the initial placement of the guide wire. We look good in the transverse plane, but we're probably riding a little low on the fifth metatarsal. So now we can utilize our parallel uh, positioning guide. Uh, we'll place that over the first wire, and then we'll utilize the, uh, the slot just dorsal or superior to that first wire, which makes uh, adjustment that much easier. So now we've placed the parallel positioning guide uh, utilizing the middle slot, and we'll take a second wire, and we'll use the, the opening just superior to get our ideal positioning. in the picture there. So now we can remove the first wire. And you'll see that our placement of the, uh, the second wire by utilizing the uh, parallel positioning guide is more optimal.
So here utilizing the new targeting guide through Stryker's uh, ASNIS system, you'll see on this lateral projection that you have three steps uh, that signify uh, medullary canal widths of four, five, and six millimeters. And this particular patient is probably best suited for a five millimeter screw based on the, uh, the sizing guide. So the second feature of this uh, new targeting guide is it allows us to uh, push the guide directly against the base of the fifth metatarsal. Uh, you need to make sure that you're firmly seated at that proximal uh, insertion point for the perineus brevis. And then we can move our C-arm more distally. And we can read directly off of the guide and push the slide to the end of our guide wire and measure directly off of the guide for the length of our screw. Utilizing the targeting guide, we've determined that we will be using a five millimeter by 60 millimeter solid screw, but we'll utilize cannulated technique. The ASNIS system has both cannulated and solid screw options available. Next, we'll utilize the cannulated drill with soft tissue sleeve. And we'll use this to enter into the medullary canal, making sure that we go past the fracture. And the drill itself is calibrated and can be read off of the drill sleeve. So it gives you multiple options to ensure proper length uh, and proper screw placement and selection. So now we use the cannulated tap. And we're beginning with a 4-0 tap. And then we'll progress to a 5. And here we're utilizing the 5-0 tap with drill sleeve. The tap is also calibrated. And here is an optional countersink for the five millimeter screw. So in this particular patient, we've utilized, utilized cannulated technique. Uh, you can utilize um, a cannulated screw or a solid screw. It's surgeon preference. So we will remove the guide wire. And I'll show both the five millimeter solid and cannulated options. And you should feel the threads of the screw grab the distal fragment of the fifth metatarsal. And as it engages the medullary canal, you'll feel a torquing of the entire metatarsal. So now after insertion of the screw up against the base of the fifth metatarsal, we'll get multiple views looking at our AP to ensure we haven't fractured through the medial cortex. We'll obtain a lateral image to ensure that we're midline in the fifth metatarsal. And you can see that, especially on the AP view, that this is the proper width of the screw as uh, confirmed and made much easier utilizing our new targeting guide.